सर प्लैटफर्मे खुविख्यात एक मानुष सारा इंडिया फिजिओथेरपी जार हाथ धरे तैरिंग छोट बल्ला देखे जेने सरसि कथा बोल सूझ है तो आज के सर के सरसि पे आगामी एक घंटार जन सर का एक टाइम नहीं तो आज के साथ आज डर आली रानी सर एवं उन्नी इंडियार एक जो मान कि वन अब देश प्रेसिडेंट अफ इंडियन फिजिओथेरपी एसोसिएशन एवं सारा पृथ्वी से इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम खुब सुपरिचित इंडिया सरसि चले कारण अनेक दर्शक जरा बांगेर बहुत वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टुडे आवर स्पेशल सेशन विद आवर स्पेशल पर्सन बिकॉज वी वी एंजॉयड इन द फिजियोथेरेपी फील्ड एंड व्हेन वी लर्न दैट इज आवर नेबरिंग कंट्री दे हैव ग्रेट सक्सेस इन फिजियोथेरेपी फील्ड देन वी हैव नो द नेम ऑफ डॉक्टर अली रन फ्रॉम आवर चाइल्डहुड इन दिस प्रोफेशन एंड ही इज आवर मेंटर इन ही इज आवर पायोनियर्स and lot of physios all over the world he know the name and he is the boss in physiotherapy and he was the uh, president of ex physiotherapy uh, uh, president uh, in indian association of physiotherapy and also he is the uh, physio of indian cricket team so uh, he was the uh, physio of uh, the captain of azharuddin and also he is a, he was very much famous and still he is a, a very uh, followers person among the physios and he is doing and he is uh, sharing his uh, always he is used to share the knowledge and also he got to learn new things and it's our great pleasure to invite dr ali rani sir uh, so i think uh, nothing will uh, be uh, complete to keep some say few words Uh, for introduce him so i think uh, next on our it'll be the great session because he is uh, using his all experience through his new concept brain mapping in physiotherapy and it's very important for physios to know how to treat through the power of brain so thank you sir and uh, i will request you to uh, deliver your valuable time with us i think you are a man of principle and maintaining your time uh, very strictly i think thank you sir i will not kill your time so it's time for you sir thank you sir good evening and salam alaikum to all from bangladesh and other part of the world shantanu very good evening to you and thank you thank you for approaching and this topic was is very close to my heart and it's uh, more than 10 years that we have been working on brain mapping to reach to this stage where we can talk to the physiotherapist okay what have we learned and what we can do as far as brain mapping is concerned my special thanks to all your people who are working with you who are supporting you who are with you the physiotherapist of dhaka chittagong all other i remember in 1988 i was in uh, chittagong and dhaka I had come with Indian cricket team for Asia Cup, and uh, we won. India won the Asia Cup. 
and uh, after the Isha Cup was over, I think the General Irshad was the president at that time. We remember they asked us to play the winner of the Asia Cup played a match with the rest of Asia. So some Pakistani players, Sri Lankan players, Bangladesh players made one team and India made a team and we played in Dhaka ground. And I remember most of our uh, players were tired and the seniors didn't want to play and it happened that we were short of one player. And I got an opportunity to, to play for the Indian team. So I've taken Zaheer Abbas wicket there. I bowled, took wicket. I took uh, a catch of Rashid Patel's bowling. So I've taken a catch and I did some 16 runs or rest uh, for the Indian team versus the rest of Asia. So I have a lot of memories from Chittagong and Dhaka. Very close friend Shakir Isfahani he used to regularly call us home for dinner. Our team was there. Um, I think so. He's a merchant in Jew tea and all that. And basically, he belongs to Isfahan of Iran. And I come, my parents came from a very close place near Isfahan called Yazd. So we had that few uh, chattings and talk that we had with him there. So I have a lot of memories from Chittagong and Dhaka both. I never had an opportunity to come and meet the physiotherapist in uh, Dhaka. Hopefully we'll come soon to do and uh, teach whatever I know. So whenever your uh, group calls me, Physio News calls me, I'll come on a weekend and hopefully teach whatever I know to you all. So today's topic, of course, sir. Of course, I'm sure, sir. Thank you. Today's topic, we will be talking about how we are going to use brain mapping in sports. So we have got two units. We use one unit only for sports people, and we use one unit for neurological condition. So today, I will be talking more about sports, but I'll explain you all what is brain mapping, what are the zones in the brain, and how we read it. Like how we do ECG for the heart, we have an EEG for the brain. So can I uh, start the presentation, the first slide to come? I'm going to share the... Shantanu, somebody has to share the slides. Yes, sir. Dr. Sham is on the stage, so he will share with, uh, with your assistant. So as the slide, as the slides come, I'll be talking and explaining you everything about it. Shamim, please share the slide. Great. So I very strongly believe that we are all going to journey to this world only once. And whatever we can do our best is very important because there's no proof that we are going to come to this world again. So let us do our best for this. And what you see on the slide is the hospital where I work called Nanavati Super Specialty Hospital in Mumbai, India. So we'll be talking about brain mapping and physiotherapy. Uh, let's show you the brain in a cartoon form first. So everyone of us have a left side and a right side brain. So left decide it's more talks more logically. And what you see on the right side is more to do with imagination, pictures, rhythm. So I always say that the left side brain always is how a male, a male brain works. They are into boxes. A male will go particularly to do that work, only finishes the work, goes to the next box. But a woman's brain can do multitasking. At one given time, they could be listening to the lecture. They could be doing something in the kitchen. They could be talking to somebody on the other phone. So they, only a woman can do multitasking. So this is how usually in a cartoon form you can explain how the brain works. But yes, all of us have the left side and the right side. So, 
tiny electrochemical impulses of varied frequency are measured in hertz. Hertz means cycle per second and they are registered by EEG. So this is how the big machine looks, EEG machine looks. And what you see below are the different patterns which you can see. Uh, the You can see the uh, patient, the gamma, and then you can see beta and alpha. So this is how you can see when it is done on EEG. Right. So this pattern till now we knew we go to a neurologist, they do our EEG. The machines are that big. And this was how it was done. But it was it is measured in hertz, which is cycle per second. Frequency of our brain moving uh, in cycle per second. So it can move from uh, two, two cycle per second to going up to 45, up to 50 per second. We'll come and explain you how it works. So let us introduce, uh, talk a little on brain. So brain consists 20 billion neurons, which generates electrical impulses. Combination of electrical activity is called brainwave pattern. As it is in cycle wave-like in nature, these are measured and analyzed through electro uh, and cyclography, EEG, brain waves can be measured as a frequency of cycle per second, which is called hertz. So we will be talking about in hertz today. So what are we using? See the small uh, EEG, which is in circle. It's that small. It's a portable EEG. But you can see it on the right side up also. The electrode has got three electrodes. It's a band which will come on the forehead. Why we are using the forehead? Because when we, we forget something, we hit our forehead. So our thinking, everything, brain activities is more to do with the forehead. So it's a two-channel EEG portable. Allows simple visual analysis of a sportsman brain's activity. So we'll be showing it. This is how you can keep it next to the patient uh, shoulder or next to the patient's head and the wire goes to the electrode. And through uh, Bluetooth, we can take it on our laptop. Or when you're doing it on a patient, the patient can hold it also. It's so small, you can hold it. And the activities are coming on the laptop. We are recording it and seeing, asking questions. So whatever the pulses, the hertz that work cycle uh, per second, it is registered, right? So I'll talk a little more on detail later. This is how it looks. Next. So let's divide. I'll first divide the zone to make you understand. So the least or when our the least hertz, that is below four hertz, four cycle per second, four cycle per second. When the brain activity works, it's called delta zone. Then we have a theta zone. We have got alpha zone. We have got beta zone and then we have the gamma zone. So just a little to make you understand, delta is almost we are asleep. Theta, we are semi-conscious. We are just trying to get up. Alpha is one of the best zone between 8 and 12 where you are focused, you are alert. Uh, beta, a lot of thoughts, maybe a lot of imagination and thoughts are coming in. And gamma, the thoughts are too many. That's why it's from 29, 30 up to 40 hertz per second. So your brain is moving much faster. It's, it's doing too much of activities. So you're not focused on one activity. It's too many activities. I'll, I'll try to show the house slide. This is how it's going to look when we are doing uh, brain mapping. Uh, we have taken a slide. I'll be showing you the running one also. So this uh, hertz per second to through a software, we, uh, we take the average of it. And to make it prominent, it will come as a mushroom. You will see some mushroom things, right? So extreme on your right is the gamma zone. And mid may somewhere closer to the left side will be the alpha zone. And what you see extreme left uh, could be the delta or theta zone. So uh, what we, we, have, we are going to show you each slide, how it works and how it works on the sports person how we come to know that they are injured, how we come to know that they can perform well, 
whole idea of doing brain mapping on sportsmen was because of my experience with the sports team. I wanted to read it inside. So physiotherapy no more is giving ultrasound or diatomy. We can enter a person's brain and find out whether the person says. The idea of this is, my conclusion about this is going to be, a tongue can lie, but a brain cannot. You cannot make a brain lie, but you can make a tongue lie. And we'll come to the next slides, which I will be talking more about all this. <clears throat> this is how the slide will look. You see the slides uh, running, brain mapping working now, right? And this is how it will be running. So what are we seeing now? It is more of delta and theta. So you see the mushroom, that is the average picked up. And the, nothing more on the right side, that is gamma. So, so this person we can say is uh, almost getting up or is getting focused. So it's either in delta or alpha zone. Very few mushrooms coming on the right. So the person has started thinking about uh, something more than that. Right. So let us come to the characteristics of these zones. So as I said earlier, we have delta, theta, alpha, beta and gamma zone. Now I said... Uh, you have to think about delta. So the prominency is deep sleep. You are still sleep. So you are going to be in delta zone. So the uh, cycle per second is going to be just 0 to 4. And coming from 4 to 7 is theta. So theta is semi-conscious. That's the time you are dreaming. So when you dream, uh, be sure you are in a theta zone. right? And when you get focused, when you have got up wild, you are focused on doing some work, you are playing. A player performing well is focused, is in alpha zone. And uh, if you look down, uh, it's, it's also useful for healing. So why we are using, uh, uh, bringing the sportsman in alpha zone or getting a neurology patient in alpha zone? See the last one down under the alpha, it's the healing zone. So coming to alpha is healing. You heal yourself faster. So we have found better results in treating patient, getting the patient in alpha zone. So very soon, whole idea of everything would be when we sum it up is getting into alpha zone. And I'll be explaining how we can come to alpha zone and uh, perform better, ride better, treat better. So then next is uh, beta zone. So you are we're going to increase from more than uh, 14 cycle per second or more than 14 hertz. So there is something called excitement. There could be stress. Anxiety, fear, fear of getting out, fear of losing, fear of, you know, so many things when you are playing this fear and rage, you also get uh, a lot of anger, right? Now, uh, coming to the next one is the last zone, which is too many things happening, present in awake state, gamma, yes, yeah, so, right? But too many thoughts, you are under uh, too many thoughts, but let me explain you. Gamma zone is still under a lot of research. We have been finding a lot of gamma wave uh, in elderly people. Then uh, elderly people from gamma, again, going back to uh, theta and alpha zone. And then again, we are fighting, finding a lot of cases of beta and uh, gamma combined. Right. So it's a lot of study going on. We have not uh, uh, could, could zero down something. But very close to beta. So whatever you see in beta could be in gamma and what you see in theta also could be in gamma. So that is a uh, uh, more studies required to do about the gamma zone. But at present, there are five zones in the brain. You have to find out and I can only say the best zone to be in is alpha zone. We have done a study on students. So when we tell a student, imagine just with that electrode on the forehead, we ask the student to imagine they are happy, they are with their friends, they are enjoying. They go in alpha zone. As soon as we tell the student about exams and studies, okay, tomorrow is your exam, they straight go in gamma zone. So what must be happening? They go in a beta. Beta is again subdivided into, you know, medium, high, beta. So uh, beta and gamma almost is a combination. So when we say you, about your exams, they get stressed. They go out of focus, so straight they go into beta and gamma zone. 
so we have done in uh, uh, film stars also so when we ask them to imagine about the best movie they have done the best role they have done they are in gamma zone and we ask them the worst they have done they have not like the acting they are in gamma zone because in both the zone, why they are in gamma zone because it is not from their will they are directed by someone they have a director so any role which is directed to them there is a lot of stress whether they are delivering the dialogue well or not whether they acted well or not so that stress remains that's how why they are going into beta and gamma zone but uh, when we tell a sportsman to imagine the best game they have ever played the best suppose they have performed very well they have been in alpha zone and when we said ke any game that you you were you know finding ke you have really not done justice to the game you have not played well uh, if the thought the thought is enough as soon as they think about that game they have not played well they immediately go in gamma zone or high beta so uh, with this conclusion we can say that a sportsman will perform very well if the sportsman is in alpha zone we going for an exam student going for an exam if you can put them in alpha zone they will perform very well but if they go for the exam is so much of stress and anxiety beta zone there is going to be problem next uh so i'm going to tell about all the zones so the first one is delta zone this is how the slide will look see a person is in deep sleep so this is how we will catch the slide which will be almost close to 4 0 to 4 next theta zone and this is how see how clear it is theta zone coming out of uh, delta zone and theta these are the slides so i am i am going to then uh, talk more uh, when we are showing it in film form right so if you go to see i would always say theta zone is a zone where you know a hypnosis work on and it's an hypnotic suggestion can be implanted or to, uh, spoken to the uh, patient if or the sports people when you are doing it right so um, i would say that uh, when when you uh, catch hold of a child if you are doing it on a child also most of them even in day time you can find them in theta zone so they are neither fully sleep neither fully awake alpha zone now this is a zone that we are looking at right uh, see below every slide the down what you see is how it will look on eeg right can i go one backward and show them one again about the the eeg of one back fine right yeah look yes so see sorry you are going forward can i go back yeah see uh, the one you are seeing down right is how it will look on eeg this is a eeg pattern right alpha zone okay now when we are definitely alpha is again as i said earlier it's for healing positive thinking awareness you are fully alert and it enhances your focus you are focused suppose you are going for batting you are focused your bowling is focused you are riding for an exam you are focused you are playing football you are focused at the game fully alert is the zone how your brain uh, pattern is working right and this is how eeg will pick up and then through a software we transmit it and this is what the picture up you are getting is a slide form i will be showing you the videos also how the uh, brain zones look as they are going on a video just to explain you so that you understand when the video comes the eeg pattern will be down what you see alpha and uh, our software will be showing you something what is above we convert the eeg pattern of physiotherapist to so that it looks better and more understanding for us to go to the pattern which is down is work of a neurologist we only read the report of eeg and find out what they want to say beta fine now uh, this is the time what you see here yeah, first your pattern down below if you see the pattern of uh, beta uh, see how it is moving that's a eeg pattern right so it's highly complex and what you see up also it's a slide form so highly complex mental functioning associated with strong excitement emotions fear rage anxiety 
uh, and a problem in concentrating. So uh, even we found out in hypertension people, people having hypertension will be having something like that. Just let me tell you when you're seeing that slide in front of you, uh, if I see a slide like that in a sports person, I don't need the sportsman to tell me whether he's injured or not injured. Right? This I will be coming to the slides again. We'll be finding something like this uh, when the person is injured. Right? So you can tell him you are super fit and all that. That you talk to him, you're super fit, everything is going great. But because his mind, uh, we are reading the mind through EEG. So you would be seeing something like that. So that's how we come to know whether the sportsman is injured or not. Next. Gamma. Uh, that's the maximum where we go, which I say it's almost 30 to 40 cycle per second. Or we can say in hertz, 30 to 40 hertz. And look at the pattern. Look at the pattern, EG pattern, how it looks down. Right, totally number of uh, uh, hertz, or you can say number of moments per cycle that you are seeing. Uh, definitely, a person is awake. Then only a person can be in gamma zone, right? And uh, definitely, it's too many thoughts uh, seen again. Anxiety, and a person cannot focus there. And a lot more under research. There is lot more things. My postgraduate students. Uh, Regularly, every year, do some study on brain mapping on different type of people and sports people. And we are still studying a lot uh, to do with gamma. But at present in these five zones, I feel we should not be in gamma zone. So we all should uh, get back and as the lecture ends, we will be uh, knowing how we can get ourselves into not to be in gamma zone and how to be in alpha zone. Just to summarize again, so that you all once again know all the five zones. Delta, think of deep sleep. And theta is dream. You are trying to get up. You are semi-conscious. But once you are in alpha, you are focused. Best for healing. And once you go into beta, it's excitement, stress, anxiety, fear, and rage. And uh, gamma, definitely you are awake. But there are too many starts. And we are still studying on it. Uh, so, on a screen display, this is a screen display, uh, again, that we have been taught delta. You'll be seeing uh, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. This is the slide where you will be seeing the mushrooms coming on it. And both sides, it's going to be same, 0 to 40. So, uh, just to make you understand a little more about alpha and theta wave with age, what happens? So theta and delta wave increase in children. They have active imagination, but inability to focus. So you ask a child what you would like to become. So what he says, I want to be a doctor. Maybe tomorrow or the same time may not say uh, only doctor. So they say, I want to be an engineer. I want to be a pilot. They keep changing because they cannot focus. So children usually are more into theta and delta waves. They are not focused. Right? Then as we grow, we are into, as we go become an adult, so our alpha increases because we start focusing. We want to know now what we want to become. You want to be a physiotherapist, you want to be a doctor, you want to be an engineer. When the concentration comes, you will see more of alpha waves. And then again, as we grow old, again, the age increases. So we, we get an inability. Our inability to focus again starts. And uh, so, and a lot to work about our memories. We remember, oh, when I was school, I used to play that. When I was in college, I used to do that. When I was in my 30s and 40s, I used to do that. So the memory takes over. So again, when the memory comes into the picture, you get back into uh, theta and delta waves. So very simple. When you are a child, you are in uh, theta and delta zone more. Uh, but as you come become an adult, so at least till 50, 60, till you are a senior citizen, you are focused. You know what you want to do in life. And as you go old again, you get back into more. This is what we see in this type of people, in children, 
in adult and then going back to senior citizen, they get back into theta and delta waves. <clears throat> yes, we can train our brains. The human brain responds to audio frequencies. So when I'm saying audio frequencies, they are not music. They are oscillating sounds. Uh, we can say echoes, right? Or uh, the, the sound waves which will come through natural, not through music, not through beats. So it's a, uh, in simple form, you almost have seen the shunk. Playing of shunk is an echo. Or saying that oh, with that vibration, right? These are the echoing sound. Okay. So we can train and it, it, it does help, right? But we also have a small machine. It's an auditory stimulus with uh, binaural beats pre-programmed. So we see that the when both the beats go into our both the ears, when you minus it, you get something like 8 to 12 uh, hertz, right? So I'm giving an example. If one of the tone is 178 hertz and other is 170, right? So when you minus it, it becomes alpha range. So you're hearing an alpha range. Or you can, you can have the singular one also of if you can get a sound or a vibration which will be of 8 hertz. To make it simpler for you all, I always say when you pray, you talk to God. But when you meditate, God is talking to you. So if you meditate, definitely, I don't know, there are many techniques, what you all follow, we don't know in Bangladesh, but whatever form that you all follow and you can meditate, uh, you all will be in alpha zone. It's very easy to come in alpha zone if you know any of the meditation techniques. <clears throat> okay, why we selected sports people? Why our study started with sports? Because one, maybe my long... Uh, experience being with different sports people and I always call them a sportsmen are not normal whether they're injured or not injured very difficult to treat them uh, they don't their behavior is not like any other normal patient that we see in our usual daily uh, uh, in the hospital or a clinic what patients we see they are a different little different you have to take extra care of them treating so I decided to do start the brain mapping with sports people because one sports means competition. If you're not going to compete, you're not a sports person. You enter sports for competition, to win or lose, to bring name for your country, to bring name for your club, right? But what happens in sports is always there is a constant pressure, whether I'll perform, whether I'll take wickets, whether I'll do runs, whether I hit a goal, whether I'll save a goal. You know, so every game has got something to do where you are bothered about your performance. Two, there is a fear of failure. There you start thinking, if I don't perform, I will be out of the team. If I don't perform, that my advertisement, so-and-so advertisement will be out of the television. They won't put my holding and board that so-and-so is, I'm campaigning for certain things, right? So what really a sportsman require is a peak performance throughout. And he has to excel in any competition. Any game that it plays, he has to excel in it. Right, so that was the idea why we took sports. Yes, there's a video playing of a normal state of mind. So we are not telling the patient anything. And we are doing a brain mapping with three electrodes on the forehead, a strip on the forehead. And we are just randomly uh, not saying anything. The patient doesn't know anything. So you will see suddenly good spikes of mushrooms coming in delta, right? Then scattered all over. So maybe this is the time when the patient is thinking too many things. What is they are up to? What they want to find out? What I am doing, right? So this was the slide that you see. It's called the normal state. So uh, as I was talking earlier, a slide before this, about the alpha technology, we can have different sounds. So this is a medical treatment that uh, felicitates professional performance via systematic induction of brain state, conductive of peak performance by listening to a specific alpha session. We call it an alpha session. It's a 20 minutes sound coming through your ears when you're listening to it. And then when we do brain mapping again, we, we find out that the sportsman has gone into alpha zone. 
right so alpha zone can be uh, can be passively put into the sports person so i'll show some slides on it Uh, so let me just show uh, this slide uh, video. How will alpha zone look when the sports person is in alpha state or alpha zone? We call it alpha zone or alpha state. So it's again right there around at 8 hertz. And you see the mushroom. What we want is more the peak mushroom. That's an average one. So more mushroom you see, that's more to do with the average one and properly. So see the gamma and beta all vacant. So patient is totally focused. So uh, nothing to do with stress, anxiety, nothing. So no beta, no gamma, very good. So that is what we are looking for in our sportsman. See the mushrooms. That's the average. That is what the software has picked up the best ones. Uh, just see the right side vacant. So next slide, when we are in gamma and beta, you will see more that side. Okay. So alpha states, uh, or we are talking about the alpha zone. So a sports physiotherapist can play a very important role in not only preventing injuries to the sportsman, but treat and train and also prepare the best performance by getting the sportsman into the alpha state or alpha zone before and maintain the state of mind during the game. So once you have taught him how, what he can think of when he's assuming or focusing, he can be in uh, alpha zone before he goes for the game. I will be showing some uh, records on it. So what does alpha zone do if the, if the sportsman is alpha zone? It enhances healing, enhances concentration, and focus to get back to the game if you are injured. Now, this was said by Alman in 1992. Peak performance requires a special state of intense concentration, which is alpha zone. So, alpha activity or alpha zone was proved by Alman in 1992. But the question remains, how to get your sportsman? How to get into alpha zone? So I'm still hopeful with our study, maybe tomorrow some pharmaceutical company will come with a tablet. So when you have a tablet, you will go in alpha zone, nothing like it. Maybe our sound of our mobile phones will become something like that when we are, when a bell rings, you will go in alpha zone. Our doorbells can happen. Our doorbell rings will be in such, okay, when somebody rings your bell, you will automatically go in alpha zone. So we are still working on it. What could make a human being immediately go in alpha zone? So the brain wave pattern of various sportsmen were studied when in the state of consistently winning and delivering optimum performances. Their brain waves displayed a consistent high activity in the alpha and theta range, otherwise known as the alpha state. So alpha state has to do with theta and alpha. So between 8 and 12, or you can say between 6 and 12, is a time where we, whenever we have spoken to the sportsmen, Imagine you have played one of the best games, they were in alpha. And whenever we said you are in the worst state, they were in gamma. <coughs> so the, look at this. This is a slide, not a video. So when he or she, a sportsman is injured and not in form, I showed you all the initial slides, how you would look, how you will come to know. So let's, let's when you are doing it on a sportsman and the sportsman doesn't want to say talk about his injury but you are doubting he's injured. So you're just putting him on brain mapping and just talking about, okay, yes, you performed very well. You are running very well. You are playing very well. You do whatever you want. His, his, his tongue will be talking. His lips will be talking to you. Yes, I did very well. I can run. I can do this. You take any test from me. He would be saying it. Okay, he's fit. So ask him a question. Do you think you are fully fit and all that? Yeah, of course, I can do anything. But there is a three electrodes on his forehead. So the brain starts telling you he is not or she is not fit. And that is how we would see the pattern what, at different zones and more towards beta and gamma. Because that time he is not playing. During play, you ask him to think about his game. He has not performed well. And this is a slide you will accept. Which, oh, yes, 
is not performed well so he is showing uh, beta and gamma but here you are not talking about you are praising him you are praising him but he goes into beta and gamma that is what uh, shows that the sportsman is injured even if he says i am not let him say he is not injured but the brain cannot lie i hope you all are understanding now what is uh, what is lie testing the lie detectors something works on the same pattern okay there is a uh, case study of a cricketer opening bowler so not knowing anything first time we did uh, brain mapping not saying anything so just see how the pattern just look at the slide all mushroom scattered all over right scattered all over both side left side right side all side right so this is before the alpha therapy or making him understand what is alpha so uh, again uh, when we started uh, showing him explaining him what it is okay and we brought him into alpha we brought the cricketer bowler into alpha so the slide shows he is in a clear state of alpha he has comfortably entered the zone Uh, reaching the optimum state of mind to deliver the superior and level of performance so what is the performance week 1 you were working for 20 minutes every day on the cricketer so his first game he took four wicket for 32 runs then week 2 we continued three wicket three runs only right then going for the third way third week two wickets 40 runs they won the cup and again the fourth week he was playing six wickets 22 runs so now this is a programmed player we are putting the player in alpha zone sending him to play so how important it's going to be to work on sportsmen to get them into alpha zone okay uh again this is a slide what we want the sportsmen to look pure alpha pure alpha both sides right that's 8 to 12 so brain mapping could become a tool for sports physiotherapists in all games whichever game they are playing i'm not uh, going to say all the names of all the game anything on any game so i feel that the physician adds years to the life but it's a physiotherapist that adds life to the years the quality and i have taken this uh, wordings from holy quran it says as he who heals one of my human being has healed my mankind so dear all physiotherapists we are into a healing profession and god says just to heal one and we have been healing every day and so many patients so but in return god gives us much more than uh, we deserve we have a slide next you're going back fine um shantanu we can come back on the screen and i am open to questions thank you sir thank you for your uh, nice I'm presentation yeah. and yeah. yeah so now i would like to request our participant if you have any question then sir will please to give you answer so i'm checking the comment box still no question is there but maybe soon people will join in there so by this time you can give uh, any uh, suggestion for our bangladeshi physios or uh, all over the world i think because uh, you know what you when when i joined going- when i joined the team as a physiotherapist we all know to treat a patient or diagnose a patient but our job has also become as prevention so i feel if a physiotherapist also emphasize we know a cricket what type of injuries they will get in football what type of injuries they will get so we have to work on uh, their muscles and their joints so to prevent is the our domain it's not that only giving treatment so please Uh, you know open up your umbrella into a bigger umbrella okay, we want to uh, uh, 
uh, even prevent the injuries. That should be, you know, your focus on preventing on each player. And have a good record of every player. Uh, what is the, uh, the peak fitness? What, how much they could run, at what speed they could run, or how much they could jump. Right? And then, when they are not fit, to get them back under the same level. Getting them back to it. Cooling down is important. The amount of time you take for warm-up. Suppose you are giving 40 minutes warm-up for your sportsmen. You should give them at least 20 minutes of cooling down. Half the time to cool down. They should not straight come into the dressing room, start having cold water, sitting, ordering... Uh, for things to come. No, they should cool. There's a process of cooling down. So I preferred if I'm doing them warming up and stretching before the game, cooling down, I made them lie down and do a lot of yogic posture and stretching. So if you cool down, you are better for the next day. You're well prepared for the next day. Sir, I have a uh, question like uh, Chris Gale. He is a good batsman, but he's not a good at on pitch. He's not uh, used to take run. So, what's the problem of his fitness? Um, see, I, I would, one aging, I, I would uh, not name a cricketer. We had a cricketer who could see a cricket ball like a football. You could bang it anywhere. But his worst okay. problems was running between the wickets. Yes, As they age, they cannot run. So, a youngster takes three runs, they have taken two runs. So they feel embarrassed. So, to keep up the speed, there is a test which I used to do for my cricketers, making them run for one minute between the wickets. So in one minute, how many runs they can take was important. That was my uh, uh, that was my parameter to see the fitness. So they could take 14 runs, 15 runs, 16 runs per minute. So whenever they were injured and they came back, so I knew it on record that he could take 15 runs per minute. So whether he can take 15 runs. So we need parameters now. A ball... Uh, person throwing the ball or a fast bowler speed there are speedometers now so if the bowler could uh, bowl at 120 kilometers per hour so whether the same is maintained suddenly it becomes 100 kilometers so we need to have parameters now sir uh, on of our participants yes Sir, now question comes. So, uh, one of our participants, uh, Kajal Chadda, and uh, he is uh, asking about can a person uh, be in two zones at a given time? Just next door, not not between, not uh, far away. Yeah, beta, gamma together, gamma. yes. But very rare to be on alpha and beta because alpha is focused. But we have alpha and theta. So from theta, you're just going towards alpha. Not fully focused, but you're getting focused. So, you know, that next door can be, the next one could be overlapping, but it's more beta and gamma. Because almost both are same. Another question from, uh, sir, you can see on the screen, sir? I can see. Yeah, so Kalpana. Uh, for prevention, treatment, both. <laughs> yes, I said uh, we can train a lot of sports people. So when they say ke why they get injured, if you get them in alpha and tell them ke this is what you have to do, so they register it better and they can train themselves. You know, we had one of our cricketer when we were doing it, uh, he used to just tell himself before go going for the batting, I have to do it, I have to do it, I have to do it. So that's the way he was going into the role of brain mapping. We have worked on kids. Uh, uh, the name has not come. That physiotherapy clinic, Healing Hands um, from Sri Lanka. Yes, we have worked on the kids. We have worked on autism kids. And the results were fantastic. The idea is to just get them on alpha zone. Uh, some uh, someone, uh, Dr. Ajizul Islam, is from Bangladesh and he is giving you the uh, greetings from Bangladesh. And, Thank you. Uh, also, great, great to see you here, sir. Thank you. And we are expecting more questions. If any question, please ask. Because uh, end of this session, we will going to share our feedback link.
sir uh, another questions from uh, mustafa rizwanur rahman and he is asking can you do in neurological patient yes i said we have got two units we have two units of brain mapping one is exclusively for sports and other is for neurological patient so our students keep studying on hemiplegia upper extremity lower extremity through brain mapping okay so through this approach we can uh, first of all we can diagnose and then we can easily go for treatment so it is helpful for both sides idea is to explain them how to focus themselves how to play better and to over and say so if you are going to regularly use they will know they won't lie to you they said yes i have got a pain in my calf or my hamstring is tight because they know finally you will come to know you know we we had uh, we are uh, during our era in 90s the the players when they didn't want to practice or something they used to say they have a back problem so usually they knew also ki we will ask them to raise the like sla we do make them do the sla to see compare between left and right so they should not refuse to take the leg up ki yes it is paining so much ki i cannot lift my leg okay so i said forget all that now you are you are having back problem so make them stand and ask them to touch the toes so they should, they could touch the toes so they didn't know the difference if the slr cannot go up how could they touch the toes so you have to play with your uh, other medical uh, test to find out whether they are telling the truth this was way back in 90s but after brain mapping we don't know they all know ki you will come to know sir uh, another question from uh, kalpana uh, that is uh, you have given the first part of our answer but uh, next is she wants to know that is in brain mapping related to mental imaginary or that is brain imagery see we have done on monks this you want to know about the spirituality and pt practice see we have done on monks giving them stress means taking them into gamma zone and we have asked them then to meditate so within 10 15 minutes of the meditation they come back in alpha zone so anybody who is doing meditation can come back on alpha zone faster so whole idea is whether in what pattern you are going to teach them meditation Yes, we have tried on number of patients. Idea is to get them on alpha. Alpha is the zone of living. We should all start living in alpha zone. That's good. Any more question from participant? Then we'll uh, sir will going to uh, give the answer. So I think uh, no more question. Doctor Shami will now uh, provide the feedback link. sir we have a feedback link that is uh, through the uh, if participant fill up the link then directly their e certificate will provided through their provided email so don't worry so just complete your uh, feedback link because some sometimes sometimes they think okay we have registered then why uh, link uh, certificate is not coming so uh, another uh, question from mustafa okay i will take another question here. how we can correlate brain mapping with coordination in stroke patient see okay uh, you make the patient do exercises and you see the respond how the patient is responding you so we take them for a session of brain mapping get them to the alpha zone and ask them to do the same thing they do it much better because that alpha zone has brought them they have focused they have, they have brought them to the focus right so that's how treatment your half an hour a session of treatment or 45 minute of uh, session of treatment to a patient because you don't know in which zone they are you are just they are coming they are treating they are going but what we want to know yes they are either in gamma zone beta zone or uh, they are in theta zone idea is get them in alpha zone treat them and see that during that session they are in alpha zone the results are much better fast yeah that's yes sir. that's that's how we can play with the neurological patients so uh, so 
is the equipment you were using is very costly or it's a reasonable price no no it's all all available on amazon ask for a portable eeg machine yes, right there are electrodes for it electrodes are there with eeg it comes with the eeg you know it comes and then uh, softwares are available again on different sites and uh, put it on your laptop so it's easy easily uh, anyone can provide a uh, setup on so when we when we had bought it it was quite costly like uh, per unit was around uh, $2000 so $4000 maybe a two unit so one and a half lakh per unit but uh, it's what we, we because we are a post graduate and phd college we also needed it for our research work so it was not uh, used for treatment only but it was used for our research also so but any uh, team can buy if you are attached to a team any team can have it so what's the uh, research work uh, and what's your findings like nowadays you are uh, getting any uh, better result or by this uh, your uh, phd scholar or your phd student can get new any uh, new findings or new results through their research we, we are working on all but the, what we have shown you all is this works fantastic on sports people idea is to read their brain no there is no contraindication that's good sir already we have uh, shared our uh, feedback link so now is close to one hour so uh, i think uh, we can complete for today so any uh, any future we can join again and also i think sir uh, if uh, the lockdown is over or corona situation is over then we can uh, go for a practical session with you very soon I in bangladesh or in india definitely so definitely that will be that will be great for us to Uh, I will come. Give me invitation. I will come. There in are a lot country. of students. I will come. I only look for physiotherapy students. If there is college and students, I I will be there. Uh, whatever techniques I, I know, I can teach in one day and come back. <laughs> I want a whole session of eight hours. Okay, sir. That that will one be one whole day. Problem. Whether it's a Sunday or whether it's a Friday, whichever day is your holiday, just give a whole day and whatever I know, I can teach and come back. Yes, sir. In our country, like a very small country, so we need you. Uh, you like people, like uh, we need more seniors, because without uh, experienced person, we will not go further. Because already we are in too much danger, or too much in uh, contradiction, or some uh, no, sir. For uh, that is uh, other medical fact. Uh, that is a uh, family paternity is like a uh, uh, physical medicine and other professional they are not uh, used to give us a chance to uh, be a physiotherapist or make our face like uh, a you raise your standard you raise your yes, standard sir. to an extent that even god should ask you what do you want that's true i believe in so, that you raise your standard so uh, so when uh, we were doing brain mapping when i was my studies was initially going on and when the neurologist who do eeg when i should discuss with them they should only just stare what work of work we are doing right and one of the professor told his students hey, go and learn from the physiotherapist they know <laughs> much more than so that's good yes so finally i will uh, request you to give some inspiring word for our physios not only bangladesh maybe every program we have got more than 10 countries all over the world so yep. nowadays we we are getting more physios from sri lanka pakistan india and some uh, african country also and middle east so they are eager to you i don't mind next time whenever you tell me i'll talk on fitness then i can talk on sport recent trends in sports medicine those who are attached to sports okay. again but fitness will yep. be for everyone we all need to be fit so what makes us unfit and then what all we try and what is the real way of getting fit the idea is i i talk that also is for 45 minutes and sure. then i can talk on recent trends in sports medicine 
I can talk on disaster management. Okay, that's and my subject. Then, uh, now it is. I want to talk on geriatrics because geriatrics people's age will increase. Physiotherapists are going to have a very important role in geriatrics. People 65 and above, what all you are going to take care of them. You can't yes, take sir. them now to the is, gym to yes. build their muscles. Yes, sir. Now it is a lot of people, a lot of physios from Bangladesh, they are getting master's degree on geriatrics. So they will be pleased to get it from you. So thank you, sir. And not let, yes, thank you, sir. May God thank give you. all of you all a healing hand. That's what I can pray. May all of you all have a healing hand and uh, treat your patients successfully. Get the blessing of your patients. God Thank bless. You. Good night. Bye-bye.